Hey y'all. So um, yesterday I worked a little bit on the legs for my uh, exoskeleton. And today I focused a little bit on the, um, <clears throat> the arms, the, the torso, top part. So this is basically, uh, I built a cage out of PVC. Again, the reason I'm using PVC is because that electro conduit pipe is a lot fucking stronger than I thought it was. It is a bitch to cut. It is a bitch to fucking compress into what I need it to be. Like I want the ends to be smushed so I can put bolts through them and, and attach them. Uh, and that, that's just a fucking nightmare, especially uh, without having a, a, a legitimate workplace and having a like some kind of press where I can just press them and, and get it done. So um, again, I'm doing it out of PVC because it, it lets me mock things up. These are the shoulders. So just to give you the idea. So the roll cage will go around here. The um, steady arm things will attach to, there's gonna be a, an elbow here and an elbow here, obviously. This is gonna run outside of my arm. So there'll maybe be a piece of metal, my shoulder, and then this will run parallel with my arm. And then the steady cam um, lifting mechanism will be attached to the forearm to keep my arm in a raised position. Um, this should give me the range of motion that I need. Uh, the elbow, I'm thinking about going with a universal uh, joint, like uh, one of those um, universal ratchet things. Just basically pop it in there, weld it, and that's that, that should be... But I also need something that swivels the arm, so there's a piece of metal I might insert in here, uh, which is a swivel uh, used to carry and pull cables and stuff, and it's rated at like maybe a couple of thousand pounds or something like that, so it should be able to hold. So put that there, there, so that the arm can swivel. Put the universal joint down here, uh, so the arm can go up and down, and like I said, it'll follow the range of motion of my arm, <clears throat> hopefully. Uh, I'll have to put all kinds of shit in there and experiment with it. And then, of course, your forearm, which will attach to the steady car steady cam uh, gimbal. And that'll keep my arm in the up position since there's armor that's going to go on here. It's going to be kind of heavy. That'll be able to lift at least 20 pounds per arm uh, without any actuators or any motors or anything like that. Just basically the spring, spring-loaded and uh, should give me a good range of motion and whatnot. So uh, this is preliminary, this is just the idea. But um, yeah, there you go. All right, so peace.